but you have like this lifestyle where you're, at, where you're out at night, but then on the internet, it's clips where somebody asked you, do you cheat on your wife? Yeah. So like, how do you, didn't you manage, how do you did, manage? Didn't you hear me say, baby, somebody asked me, do I cheat on my wife? You don't think when I walked away and I said, yeah, nigga, I'm cheating on my motherfucking wife. You don't think she wasn't over there watching too? Mm -hmm. Her mama called and said, girl, what you gonna do with that boy? You think yeah. she don't know? You think Coretta Scott King didn't know Dr. King was fucking? So how do you manage like What you mean how you manage? You manage it by keep making money. Once your ass stop making money, your ass in trouble, boy. They go drag your motherfucking ass. You gonna be a no good rotten motherfucker. Nigga Kobe Bryant got caught and spent six million dollars on the rain. You never heard a peep out that woman no more. He died and she got all the money. If you smart, you stay around until the nigga died and get the money. Omi, you see the Omi shit? Omi cheated on his girl. She's stupid. 18 million. Um, I mean, I like million. it. She's stupid. Three, three, three nightclubs come with it. She's stupid. Eight properties and $18 million cash. He sent me the contract. She's That's stupid. I, I ain't gonna say she's stupid. She might already be rich. Well, she own they partners in some, some businesses or whatever. I can't put too much out there, but $25 million in assets. Cars, three nightclubs. Man, I know a hoe you can burn three, four times. She'll, she'll, she'll take all that. <laughs> see, uh, see that, see, listen, that, that's why, that's why God can't trust a woman to lead nothing. You see how illogical that is? Don't you know she could, man, that, that's why the woman cannot be trusted to lead because her, her, her emotions gets in the way of rationale. She'll burn this motherfucker down out of spite. And regret it once it's burned down. Hmm. Uh, that's why she got to nurture. She can't come out front and, and dictate and, and, and analyze and give instructions. She got to nurture. Uh, because when her emotions get involved, homie, uh, her, her logic goes out the window. And she's loyal to her emotions. She's not loyal to what's right. She's not loyal to her man. She's not loyal to her children. She's loyal to her emotions. Because when mama don't feel like it and mama tired, mama tell you go sit your ass down somewhere, boy, I'm not having this today. She's loyal to her emotions and she will sit motherhood aside till she gather her emotions. And, and that shouldn't be the case. So if Omi girl signed that contract, they gonna say, oh, she only fucking with him for the money. What? But they, if she don't sign it, it's cause she really don't uh, right? Well, well who, who, who cares what they say? He putting the money out there for her to fuck with him for the money. He putting the money out there. Baby, come back. You can have this. Baby, goddamn, I'm gonna give you. Come on, homie. He putting the money out there for her to come back for the money. So who cares what they say? Baby, go get the money. Uh, psychological game is this here, though. If you my bitch, your money, my money. So if you do sign for the money, nigga, that's our money. So when I do come back, this still our money. It's still our so money. So it's, it's a game that you got to be able to understand what's going on. You see what I'm saying? If she signed for that money and I come home and you with me, guess what? That's my money too. We don't, we don't. Baby, I love you so much where I'm trying to ensure you, your family, and everything tied to y'all is set forever. Baby, good man, she. Just because I gave my dick away don't mean I don't love you. She been knowing that too. I can go, I can go fuck the ground every day and I love that ground. I can go stick my dick in the gas tank and love the shit out of you. Where I put my dick mm. ain't got nothing to do with where my heart is. Mm. That's you, baby. Do you love her? Mm. Come on, baby. Pussy just good. Bitch suck dick backwards. Upside down. So you can't say that. <laughs> yeah, I got a yeah, I love her a little bit, but you just but 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 you, so so uh but uh uh homie, you but know see, you know a lot of women say if if you really love if you really love me, why would you cheat? Uh, you don't know love. Love ain't got nothing to do with cheating. A man cheating, a man cheating ain't got nothing to do with the woman. Loving you or not loving you. It ain't got nothing to do with the woman. When he and her jacking his dick out watching porn, he cheating. He's coming to another woman. He's cheating. He's getting turned on by this. So you don't think by him watching this when y'all fucking, he, she don't flash through his head? So, so nah, homie, oh. Uh, we don't know real love for, for us to really base uh, our decisions off leaving people off what we think love is. Most of us ain't seen no nigga love our mama. Most of us ain't seen, you see what I'm saying? Most of us hadn't seen no real healthy love, homie. We come from dysfunction love. 
and, and, and a woman's love is more geared toward me, 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 me. You didn't tell me I was pretty today. You're not giving, you haven't given me no attention. You've been working all the time and you ain't spending no time with me. So this other man was spending, so it's, it's me, 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 me. But she not realizing the lights on, the car got gas in it, you protect it, uh, the kids sleep good at night, uh, uh, you don't have to lock the doors, do all this because you, you, it's a man in the house. Uh, it's comfort, it's, it's security, uh, uh, there's direction. Uh, the, the, the woman problem is uh, no one can correct her. And, 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 and a man has to be able to correct because his job is to establish law and order in the household. So most real men aren't liked. I'm gonna say it again. Most real men with real traits and characteristics aren't liked. He gonna say, baby, take that off. You're not finna go outside with your titties showing like that. Man, you got your ass out like that. Man, put some panties on, your pussy print showing. That's a, a real man established law and order. Say, y'all sit down somewhere. Nigga, real man ain't liked. He's missed and appreciated after he's gone. But while he's here, he ain't like, nigga. He's tolerated. Mm. That's why they don't tell your daddy. They keep shit from daddy. That's why daddy get a tie. That's why daddy get kicked in the ass. Mama get everything. It's all about if mama happy. It ain't about if daddy happy. And daddy dying of stress. And mama living long being happy. Because guess what? Everybody making mama happy. And don't give a damn about daddy being happy. It's grandma house regardless. Who paying the bills at that motherfucker? Unless granddaddy <laughs> kicking grandmama ass. <laughs> unless granddaddy grew, unless grandmama get up, unless grandmama and granddaddy was together a long time and granddaddy used to kick grandmama ass. Now he sit back quiet and he let her rule because he can't bite no more. He ain't got them same strong teeth them lines have in the back. So the lioness come rule. Every now and then he roar and she cower down because she, she done been taught. Nigga, we getting with women three, four years. Nigga, these ain't our women. These these last two nigga bitches. Mm. We getting with her and she dealing with us based off what they did to her. Mm. She still got the pain right. from them niggas. Right. She still got these barriers and obstacles up from us from what them niggas did. We don't even get a chance to do. Nigga, mm. we liars off the back. We liars off the back. So nigga, we, we, we diminished and devalued off the back of what the last nigga did. It's hard to keep a relationship now. Shit, nigga. If you was on me, what would you do? Uh, Take that 13 million and pocket it my motherfucking okay. self and come back out here and fuck the world. So is that considered simping what he's doing? No. He's not uh, simping? Nigga, if you love somebody, how that simping? Yeah, nah, that ain't if, if, if I love something, how that simple? He's just getting a lot of backlash. Uh, well, uh, uh, mo most of these niggas don't love nothing. Mm. Uh, nigga don't know what it's like to have soul time. Uh, mm. uh, niggas, these niggas don't love nothing, homie. How, how you gonna get? See, how, how you simping if you like a girl, but you with your homeboys all day? <laughs> nigga, that's the, them the niggas trying to shame you with the homeboy shit. How that simping, my nigga? I like girls. Y'all like boys, gang, gang. <laughs> That's the difference. Nigga, so yeah, let me simp, my nigga. Oh, uh, because y'all praise pimps. And pimps is the lowest form of a man. A pimp is the lowest form of any man can be. So yeah, I'm a simp, nigga. At least I'm nice to women. Pay their bills, nigga. Hmm. So yeah, I much rather be a simp, homie, than a pimp. Damn, uh, honeycomb brazy locked back up. For what? What was it, guns? Guns yeah, and possession. Possession. Control substance. Yep. Going crazy, too. Ooh, that's your ass, Mr. Popeman. Ooh, no wonder finesse fucking with him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I start telling. Yeah, I tell on finessing him about something. If I was that boy. <laughs> <laughs> he knows something they done done and they done got away with that he can tell to get finesse back in there with him. And they can fight against each other. Uh... He got tricked, homie. Uh, I said it from the beginning, homie. A lot of niggas come home just to take pictures and make memories and go down there and talk about it. Mm. She crazy. A lot of niggas come home just to take pictures and make some memories, nigga, and go down there and nigga talk about it. Mm. Uh, 
His memory showed the motherfucker. Because how you trying to go back to jail after just doing all that time and you come home to Birdman and all the shit that you doing? Everything you putting you, out, doing numbers. How you just put yourself in position to go right back to jail? The, like well, 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 no, no, no. Well, well, uh, it, it's... it's it, homie, you got to change how you think. So when you saw how he came out, nigga, he ain't changed how he think. So how he gonna change the behavior? Right. Nigga, the thinking is what determines your behavior. Your, your behavior is what establishes your habits. Nigga, a habit of carrying a gun. A habit of, you know, so nigga, he back in the trenches picking up his uh, toothless homeboy with the mm. black gun. Remember the nigga? So he back in the trenches. Nigga, he done went back to the same people, the same place, mm. and the same things. How you gonna do something different? How you expect to do something different? You have to right. change people, places, things. Mm. Right. I never thought about it like so, that. So, right. so, so, so that's that's part of the reason why 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 I'm I'm in this situation, homie. Uh, because my brother, not not that I'm blaming him for this, but nigga, this had to happen to get my brother from down there. Cause nigga, he's back with the same people, places, thing, and he don't need to be down there, nigga. So I couldn't tell him that because it's like I'm trying to kill his dream. But if that didn't happen, he'll still be down there. And them niggas will either have action at him or me. Or my mama, she going to go pick him up. So I'm saying, my nigga, you graduated from Paul Mitchell Barber College. You don't learn how to cut white people hair. You learn how to do dye. You learn how to cut. Nigga, why you go to the hood with these great skills? No, nigga, go advance. So had this not happened, homie, he'd be in the lines then. Probably on the way because of that environment in that area. So it's no different than honeycomb brazy, homie. Nigga, come home. Nigga, you still thinking the same way? You come home on go mode. I'm on you niggas' ass like but somebody said but we used to say. But Yeah, so 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 nigga, you come home, you ain't changed the way you're thinking. You still got the same similar behavior. Uh you you got the same habits. Nigga, you back in the gutter. So guess what, nigga? Uh you displaying the same character. So we can pretty much decide where your destiny's gonna be. Right. So uh nigga, when I made nigga, when I made Bond, homie, uh, I ain't been back to my house. Uh, where, where, where the guns at? Because part of my bond stipulation is I can't have no access to guns, mm. right? So guess what? Gather mm. all these motherfucking guns up, put them in this motherfucking safe, lock them. Yeah, lock them. Yeah. And then, uh, but but now nah, my nigga, uh, you gotta change people, places, things. Uh, especially nigga when you've been given the opportunity and the chance that he's been given to get out on that fifteen year, and then come home, nigga, and go to boom and hide with boom. Getting straight to it. Why the fuck I want to go back to jail? Mm. Mm. Tyreek Hill, uh, NFL player. You know who he is? Cheetah. Mm -hmm. He's like the fastest NFL player right now. Yeah, Played no. for the Miami Dolphins. Uh, he has uh, seven women that he just uh, got pregnant. Well, Damn. That's, that's my nigga. That's yeah, that's my nigga. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. three are pregnant right now. Yeah, that's seven, my, seven that's my nigga. Damn. Yeah, that's, that's my kind of nigga. That's, yeah. that's the drink. You, like, what you mean? Like, that's like a... If I ran that fast, I would do it too. <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah, nigga, you got them kind of powers, nigga, yeah. Uh, most niggas can't impregnate seven bras at one time. That's a nigga with some superhuman strength. Damn. Damn. Like, his wife know about the shit too. Like, she... Yeah, like, he, it's yeah. Cool. And, like, he, it's and cool. he's married. Man, the nigga run, he the fastest running human on earth. Man, one piece of pussy can't satisfy that nigga. He the fastest running nigga on earth, huh? In the NFL, yeah. Then, well, whatever, he got superhuman strength. Man, that nigga got to have 10 holes. Uh, people are upset that none of the women are dark skinned, though. They all mixed, light skinned. Who dark. upset? Cause he, he, already, don't, he already dark. Shit. He know what he like. He already the dark one. Shit. Nigga, they got to, they got to, they got to settle for anything. Nigga, he picking what he like. Nigga, when you, when you got money, you can pick. Everybody else selling. <laughs> yeah, everybody else selling. Motherfuckers settle for their baby mama. Bitch just, they just didn't wear rubber that night. And he didn't mean to get this fat motherfucker pregnant. I swear by God, Dirk didn't mean to get that fat white girl pregnant. Shit, uh, he was broke then. Man, that nigga. He was broke. Selling. <laughs> selling. Yeah, he was broke. Selling. I told you, man. Man, shit, man. Yeah, when you get some money, I'm picking juice. God yeah, man. yeah, so <laughs> shit. Yeah, so like, yeah. Oh, uh, let me get this kind of money. They're going to be saying that about me. Ooh. But it seems like most athletes, when they, you know, LeBron's one of the few that, that stuck with a, a, a black chick. Most athletes, they want the mix of the white girl. 
When you look, when you step back and look, most athletes, that's what they choose. Why is that? Why can't we stick? Like, like they say in the in the in the, in the NBA, within the next twenty years, most NBA players are going to be light skinned because Tyrese Halliburton's and shit. Exactly. <laughs> uh, 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 Jason Tatum. Uh, 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 Zach Levine. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> is it? Is do you feel like that? It's because of the NBA, or do you feel like that? It's because. I mean, you. I'm going to tell you why. They look the most natural. I mean, we, if, 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 if the dark skinned sisters pulled off the long shoulder length hair and brought back the, if they look the most natural. The mm -hmm. light skinned girl with the weave hair that hang down her back, they look more natural. Mm -hmm. The sister that got it all the way down to her knees and ain't dread, they don't look natural. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, they look they look more naturally appeared than the sister that's trying to look appeared, mm -hmm. especially at that level. Oh, uh, nigga, I want a natural sister. And maybe black women didn't like them niggas when they wasn't nobody. They, they like them niggas. Mm -hmm. Them niggas got that pussy, homie. But before they uh, were somebody? Oh, uh, yeah, homie. Uh, see. You don't think it's well, a thing to where as though. Black women be aggressive, shit. You got to be that one growing we up. We growing up now <laughs> at a time where when I was growing up, you got blacks right here. You didn't, you didn't have Mexican chinos and people walking down here like this. We dealing in an era now where you got options. It's multicultural, homie. Yeah. So we gotta wake up and realize that you got black guys that want to explore. They want to explore, homie. It's not that they I'm, been in the hood I'm fucking against, all their life. And yeah, it's not that I'm going against my people, but goddamn, I want to know what this white pussy like. <laughs> I want to know what this Asian pussy. And like. let me just say this: on, they they be worshiping that nigga's torpedo. They worship they they worship that law. Uh. <laughs> uh, the sister is used to being worshipped, right? So in, in, in the bedroom, she's she's the golden cow. She she's the golden cow. Uh, in other bedrooms, the black man is the golden cow. You don't think it's a characteristic thing to where when when men get money, they want to stay away. They want a white chick because white women may let them do whatever. Hell no. Nah, you don't bullshit. think so? Sean, you know we've been fucking white That's girls bullshit. since elementary. You know why we fucking white girls, niggas? They let all of us fuck. They come on, money. They come on. They go do what? Yeah, they go do what? Keish, Rock Keisha ain't go do. Oh, boy, stop! Don't do that. Get on, touch my butt. You know, white girls, yeah. <laughs> oh, y'all get out of here. I'm not for the fuck out of them. Come on now. We learn this in school. Then when we get to college, we see the difference. Nigga, the black girl huddle up, looking. Her friend want to fuck. Uh -uh, girl, you're not going. The white girl get her friend to come and join in. Oh, uh -uh, girl, don't go with them. The black girl pulling. The white girl, we can drag her off drunk. Uh, we out. You know, so we learn this shit in college, nigga. So come on, nigga. So which one you think you rather live with? The one who friends come over here. They all get drunk. You can fuck a white friend. You can fuck a Mexican friend. And they all so drunk, they don't know. And this is what we do. The black woman ain't going to let you. Let's, she know these hoes go fuck you. She on your ass. Mm. Come on, my nigga. So we look at black women too stiff. No, no. Uh, the, the, the black woman knows the black man so well and don't trust him. Uh, mm. she, she don't allow him to, to, to make any mistakes in a relationship, uh, let alone uh, be free from her. Mm. So he has to be under her wing Dang because she don't God. trust him and she don't trust no man like him. Uh, so he has, so she has to have a leash on him. She got to have a leash on him. He can never just be, hey, baby, I'll be right back. And when he come back, hey, baby, shoot, yeah. where you been? Super. He can't just never come home and get Super peace. Possessive. Yeah. Possessive. Uh, yeah. 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 So uh, I'm going to give you some more game. When you, when you got to realize that when we come up looking at porn, we looked at porn. When we looked at black porn, we saw regular porn. Regular porn, homie. When we looked at porn books, we saw regular porn, right? Motherfucker laying up there with their legs at her on the pussy. Until, guess what happened? <laughs> when them white folks start coming out with them POVs and all that, and that's when the, that's when the anal sex start coming out, homie. Hmm. Make it whole gag and all that. Make you could hold with the gag and then they spin coming. You know, every time black girl didn't suck dick, homie. 
No, nah, that was nasty, <laughs> homie. What was that in, in like the, 90s? the 90s? It was the 90s, too. Yeah. Yeah. Two, nigga, the black girl didn't shut the head. What? I'm not saying, hey, nigga. Word. They gagging. What? Nigga, white girl was sucking dick up under the bleachers. And what you want? <laughs> let's keep it real. Shit. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's, nigga, let's keep it real, man. Nigga, I always had an itch for a white girl. Yo, Victoria, we got to mute some of this because this shit is great. <laughs> 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 this is crazy. Yeah. That's Black crazy. That's crazy. But that's uh, reality, man. Man, listen. Uh, the black woman know her brother. She know her best friend. She know her uncle. She resent her daddy. So from those standpoints, when she see the traits in her man, it's over with. Nigga, you gotta kiss you, you nigga, you damn near gotta be picture perfect because if she see those traits, it's over with. Mm-hmm. It's over with. Uh, and, and so uh, her, her, her insecurities and, 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 and her lack of, of knowledge of, of, of what a man does, what a man really does, and, 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 mm-hmm. and, and, and the purpose of a man, uh, that's, that's the class, right? So she don't understand us, and she don't understand the purpose of why God even created a man, and we don't understand women. Nigga, we don't understand they emotional, that 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 uh that that they are always thinking with emotions. So it, it causes them to uh pay close attention to mm-hmm. everything you do. Right. So she studies you, uh, you overlook her. That's why she gotta ask you, baby, you like my hair? But she studies you. Mm. Uh so she, she uh she know when you lie, cause she studies you. Uh, that's 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 part of her her, her self defense mechanism, for her thought process to study you, B- because men are, are creatures of habit. Nigga, we're creatures of habit. That's why it's easy to catch us cheating. A pattern of behavior. Uh, our pattern of behavior changes. But you nigga nation though, right? Uh, yeah. So don't you want to see athletes <laughs> stick with black with their own kind? You nigga nation though. I got to mix some. Yeah, I mixed, I went and mixed this dick. You lying to me? I'm thinking about making a fool, nigga, baby. But yeah, I went and mixed this dick. What are you talking about? And I, and yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hey. yeah, yeah, I got a, yeah, yeah, I got a mix, baby. <laughs> yeah, and I done it intentionally. That was early on. I done it intentionally, nigga. Because when I came home, homie, I saw a problem that nigga was having with the baby mama. See, when I came home at 21 and 98, Homie, the baby mama and baby daddy thing was a new term. That was a new word. Wow. In 1998 and 99, the word baby mama and baby daddy was a new term. Before that, what was it? Mom and dad. The mother of your child, the father of your child. Mm. The word baby daddy didn't exist in 95. So so when I came home, uh, most people were young in their 20s, right? 21, 22. Some had already had two kids. And nobody got along with the baby daddy, baby mama. So they start making songs. I hate your baby daddy. So they start making songs, homie. This narrative, this started to become propaganda. So we no longer became mothers and fathers. The term baby daddy and baby mama is two motherfuckers who hate each other. Can't get along and work for the, the, the they work against the best interest for the child. So, uh... Nigga, every nigga I seen with a kid, nigga complained and hated a black woman he had a baby by. So in my 20s, psychologically, nigga, uh, I wanted to be able to have a loving relationship with my son. Uh, and nigga, I wasn't fit to have no baby with no black woman because she wouldn't allow you to have a loving, full re- relationship with your son. Because what, what, what I start hearing between my cousins and my female friends is, this my child. You can't take my baby nowhere. So the, the, the black woman claims 100% rights and authority over the kids. So that robs a black man of his legacy. Mm. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't rob of my legacy. Most black children don't have their dad's last name. Mm. Most black women wouldn't allow they, they, the, the black man to name their child. Uh, most black women wouldn't allow the grandmother of the, of the baby daddy to have access to the grandbaby because what she felt about the baby daddy. So she kept the kid away. So I didn't want that, homie. So I strategically said, nah, I ain't putting my dick over there in that garden. What's crazy is out of all my homies, I'm glad I, think, I don't understand I that I think shit. men, out of all my homies, I I'm think men I don't him, understand that shit. That's what I was about to go to. Out of all my homies, 
only me and him grew up with our fathers. Mm -hmm. Is that we? Hundred percent. Who who else we? That's, that's really, probably about it. That's bro. probably that about it. If I'm say homie, listen, somebody on camera, I, 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 say homie, I'm, I watch. I, 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 hey homie, no. I've seen grown men no. weep and cry. I'm talking about gangster bad niggas, cause man, they just can't see. They because she got so much control over the baby. I watch niggas give up on life, right. homie. I watch niggas put their head down in shame and walk away from the baby because she got too much control. It breaks a man's spirit and soul. Right. Your son or your daughter looking at you and mama got all to say and you supposed to be daddy, then you can't be the hero. Right. Then you can't be that kid's hero mm -hmm. because mama played a villain and you can't come save your child from that villain. How you gonna be that hero? I kicked this goddamn door in to get my baby. Bitch, that yeah, I nah, I'm gonna be a hero. You still wanna go on a date with Cardi B? Yeah, yeah. So Y'all gonna make it happen? <laughs> yeah, for yeah. real? Goddamn right out for real. She ain't answered that DM yet. Oh, I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kiss myself. You yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. We all. Yeah, yeah. I ain't single no more, my niggas. They done got back together. <laughs> He can come too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can come too. Yeah, he can come too. What is Shit. That'd be crazy though. I like how you said uh uh it could be uh, in the metaverse. Yeah, in the metaverse world. Yeah, we go to a restaurant, she go to her favorite restaurant, we just go live and talk to each other. Yeah. That shit would go crazy. Oh god. Yeah. It would. <laughs> niggas do it in them DM when niggas say, hey, go, hey, go live with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nigga be laying in the bed with his oh, shirt off. Shit. Yeah, yeah, rubbing on his nuts, uh, trying to lead to a sexual conversation. Nigga do it all the time in the DM with them girls. What's your DMs like? Uh, Is it more like niggas uh, trolling and shit? Mm. Women uh, be DMing you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like young, like younger, younger women are like, your age bracket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, shit, nigga. Uh, uh, my analytical data from eighteen to sixty-five plus. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but 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 I'm like this, homie. Uh, you can't pick me. Uh, a woman can't pick me, homie. You so, said uh, that before. So so a woman can't get in my DM, homie, and say I like you all you now, nigga. You, no, I, I think that's very suspicious. Uh, b because a, a man picks what he wants. A, a woman picking you, homie, that's a pimp trying to settle for, that's a nigga settling and just trying to latch on to something. No, nah, man, uh, I, I pick what I want. Yeah, you can't like me. I got to like you to get you to like me. That's how I get a woman. You she, like Brittany Renner, though, right? Did uh, you pick her or she picked you? I picked her. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> because, I, because I said something and then she yeah, came back and said, yeah, I'll rock yeah, your yeah. world. I remember that. Yeah, remember yeah, that. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, nah, homie. Uh, uh, Nigga, he who finds. It says he who finds a wife finds a good thing. So a woman can't find a husband. A nigga got to go find. He got to be actively seeking. He, you just can't stumble. It says he who finds. So you got to be looking. So it's traits and characteristics that you got to be looking for. Would you date a celebrity? No. Hell no. Nah. Them hoes done been run through. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Them celebrity hoes done been run through, my nigga. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And them bitches just like them niggas. They, but you, it, do you care about a, a body count, though? No. Because Brittany uh, Renner said she had 30, what, 2? Uh, 35? Uh, uh, that, 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 that ain't bad. That ain't bad? No. Is 100 no. bad? Uh, no, nah, 100 ain't bad either. What the Jeez. fuck? No, nah, 100 ain't bad. 100? Boy, we were hunching and screwing back in first grade. So wait, so we wait, got wait, 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 wait. So we wait, started wait. early. Brittany Renner probably around like 35, 36, 100. Well, 32. Wait, that on a bad, bad year. That's just uh, 35 she told. She say, homie, listen. Willing to admit to uh, <laughs> Say, listen. You know you, know you got to times it by three. Uh, <laughs> That's what she accepted. Uh, <laughs> you 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 never know how many they got, homie. So body count don't really matter. You don't really care about no, that. No, uh, traits and characteristics. Uh, because 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 I, because, I, because I believe you can turn a hoe into a housewife. I believe reform hoes is the best housewife. Mm. Reformed hoes, hoes tied, woe out, reform, and just want to quit. <laughs> Them the best one. Because, because they don't have the same insecurities as Yo, a normal woman. You are woman. crazy, bro, but it makes sense. Yeah, I'm a reform hoe. Yeah, homie, she make the best housewife. But you just said you wouldn't date a celebrity because they ran through. But a hoe ain't been ran through. A hoe picks the nigga she chooses. Celebrities just fuck where they go, homie, because they got to fuck this producer, they got to fuck this producer, they got to fuck. Hoes, niggas, you don't, hoes just ain't fucking everybody, homie. Hoes are very manipulative. Hoes have they way. Bitches have a problem with men. Hoes don't. Hoes know how to hoe on you. Mm. 
to get you to say yeah. And them the type of women you like, the ones that know how to play the game. Uh, the ones that know how to, that understand it. Uh, uh, when you leave the house, I ain't got no business worried about what you doing as a man. I don't need to be trying to check your pussy. Babe, where you been? What you been? What you? I don't, but as a woman, you're going to be worried about what I'm doing as a man. So what if you find out a woman's lying to you? You cut her off? Uh, if she can lie to make me, if she can lie to make me believe it, I ain't got no problem with a lie. So as long as you don't find out, you cool. Listen, lie and make me believe it. Mm. Tell me a good enough lie where I believe it, baby. <laughs> if you go lie to me, tell me one good enough where I can believe it, motherfucker. And we ain't got no problem. I ain't got no problem with you lying to me if you can make me believe it. Mm. <laughs> Dude, what you think, man? Man, that hoe cold. <laughs> man, that hoe cold. Listen, man, you don't lie. Fuck that shit. I lie. Yeah, I lie. She gonna lie. Your kid go lie. I'm looking at traits and characteristics. Nigga, she lying for a reason. Like I'm lying for a reason. Uh, Fuck, I'm going to give nigga. I lie like a motherfucker. Yeah, nigga. Oh. To protect her feelings. So baby, lie to me to protect mine too, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you love me. <laughs> if you really protect love me, don't feelings. tell me the truth. Protect my feelings, don't protect yours. But at the same time. I just uh, think it hit I guess I'm a, I guess I'm a type of nigga that's more like this here. I overstand. Which mean that. I always have an open door policy, nigga. That's your pussy. But it hit Which di- mean that if you goddamn me let somebody get in that pussy, man, let me know. It hit different when a woman cheat, though. Man, I don't, I don't give a Cause fuck. Cause it's emotional with them. I, with us, it ain't. Right. We just, we it, just doing it all, us. It's all depends if you got the stomach to vomit, nigga. I ain't got mm. the stomach. Take See, the I'm nigga the nigga, nigga that got the stomach to know me. that this you. nigga fuck. Oh, oh, you fucking with that nigga? Cool. If, if I bought you Come bread, on, I'm taking I'm, that bread out the goddamn hole. I go fuck. He fucking my That's whole too much though. energy, though, man. I listen, ain't to... listen. The, the, the thought, the, the, the thought of that nigga got that dick in my woman. My dick ain't even gonna get hard you fucking that woman. Oh, I'm gonna tell this girl, man. Nigga, fuck my woman. I don't wanna fuck you. I'm gonna do what he did. Listen, man. That nigga, fuck. They was going to do. Me and my dick, man. I'm gonna be hurt, nigga. Fuck my woman. Me and my dick ain't gonna work. Hundred percent. I'm gonna cry like a motherfucker, nigga. Fuck my woman. <laughs> what? Nigga. Nah, I can't stomach that, dude. I can do all the fucking in the world, but boy, my woman go fuck. Boy, I can't stomach that. <laughs> man, that'll, say, man that'll make a nigga go get. I gotta take what come with what I. That'll make a nigga go sure. get saved. Give his life to the Lord. I don't even care. Like I'm, I'm just one of those individuals that look at life like this here. I mean, this shit ain't, this shit ain't forever. That what, that what I look at it like, nigga. That that pussy. It's just your turn. I'm getting, it's just my time, homie. Yeah. But it's gonna be a time where she gotta move on and whatever it is. You but just she... don't know when. Ain't nobody dying together no more, homie. Mm. That shit is extinct. I'm just keeping this Social shit one thousand. That shit is extinct. If you think you finna get in a relationship and die with that pussy, nigga, you finna be crazy in the motherfucker. I'm finna be crazy in the motherfucker because I ain't getting with now, I'm bitch. You don't think it... long term relationships? Uh... Homie, what is a I... long term relationship now? Six, seven years? What's a long term relationship? Let's keep it real now. Uh, I've been. And you've been you've been doing it for a long time with every celebrities and everybody. A long term. I've been married five. Don't look like my wife going nowhere, and I'm a low down, dirty, rotten motherfucker. <laughs> I've been married five <laughs> years. I'm a low down, dirty, rotten motherfucker, and it, and that woman act like I'm I'm a good motherfucker man. You know what I'm saying bullshit. <laughs> No, nigga, I'm talking about nigga hat. She act like she happily married with me and look, nigga, submissive and loving and kind and still act like I'm telling the truth when I'm lying. That's called that remote working, that positive energy going one way. The nigga uh, better going another uh, way. Got well, keep uh, remote working. Well, well, this, this, this all, this, this all she keeps stressing. Uh, she took a vow before God and she not gonna break that vow for me and nobody else because she took the vow before God and it's a covenant. So she understand what a vow and a covenant is. I don't know what the fuck it is. She do. So she's more in fear of her belief in what a vow before yeah. God is. So if some people still standing on no, the vows, if right some there. people understand what a covenant is. See, when you get into a relationship, y'all ain't got the covenant. Y'all just fucking. So that's that's more that's more detriment. So there's no blessing that can come from that because y'all aren't un, uh, under the covenant. So here y'all are trying to make shit work, but you don't have a covenant. You don't have no covering. So it's easy for y'all to say, fuck you, motherfucker, I'm going. But boy, man, you done took a vow and you got a covenant. Uh, man, some people ain't, they go die with that. Uh, my grandmama, my granddaddy married 50 years. Uh, 
Yeah. So you still believe in long that it co- yeah. things collapse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still believe in love. I still, I, I still think love overrides everything. Dewberry said, good. "Fuck that, ain't shit yeah. lasting." It's uh, say, homie, listen. Uh, I, 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 I hate to say this, homie. Uh, hey, listen. Hey, nigga, my wife can leave me and take everything. Nigga, love is what. Nigga, love is what make a nigga change. Nigga, niggas been so rotten. Them women that stayed with them rotten niggas, she loved them niggas and the good niggas. That's what's been the antidote. The one, the, don't nobody love no more. And the love ain't real. You can't love me, homie, if you catch me lying and you walk away from me. Because my mama caught me lying so many times, she kept loving me. Caught me stealing out of her. You know how many times we lied to our mothers intentionally? And that's that love the woman have to have. That's the love you got to have for her. Or y'all will keep walking away in every relationship you do. I think social media fucked that up. Yeah. Social media. No, 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 no. Homie, no. Social media ain't fucked nothing up. Because listen, what you, 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 you fucked up when you get on social media. You already fucked up when you get on social media based off your household. Who, who was loving your mama? Or who was whooping your mama? That's where you fucked up at. Social media don't fuck you up. You learn how to love from when your mama get you and say, oh, baby, look at you. And when she bring you closer and pat you on your chest as she's breastfeeding you, um, this is how you learn how to love, homie. Your nurture. Then when you start walking, what you, who, where do you see, where is love, what love do you see? You fucked up when you start getting on the phone already. Because your mother gave you a phone while she was on the phone. And she didn't do your ABCs. She made you a chicken pot pie and didn't make you a meal. So you use that. For, so you already fucked up. So I mean, social media didn't do this, homie. Our family lives did this. So you saying when you get on social media, I'm asking you, you get on social media, you see that explore page, all them beautiful women on there. Most of them been molested in their homes. That's why they showing their bodies. But I'm just saying when- That didn't fuck it up, homie. They was fucked up when they got on there. They been molested. Why you think most of them get naked, homie? Look at my ass. Look at my titties. Because someone told them this is what you're supposed to look at when they touch them. That's their value. That's why they ain't got their degrees. That's why they got their ass turned sideways. You can see a print. Nigga, pussy, titties, nipples. Homie, that ain't got- That's not them. Somebody did that to them. No different than the gay. Homie, that, homie, it's never been about ass and titties with the woman. But because, homie, you got to understand, nigga, as far as little girls can remember, we've been pinching their booties. The little boys has been pinching their booties, touching their titties. When they go home, they got an uncle or cousin doing it. When they go over to their friend's house, they got off since they throughout their life. So when we finally see them on these explore pages, you think they just look, nah, homie. They was conditioned. My point is though, and I get what you're saying, but my point is that when things go sour in a relationship, people are quicker to move on because they already have options. The woman's the not internet. the woman's not quicker to move on. The woman put You don't up, think a woman already know the next nigga they gonna fuck with? They, they already got them lined up? We do too. We got the next bitch lined up too, nigga. We all got them. Come on, my nigga. Let's not just put it on the woman. When we get with a woman, nigga, we still got two or three bitches we can get with when she don't. Yeah, nigga. Whether we say it's a friend or not. Hmm. She got it too. Guess what? Because she knows you got it. You're more likely to cheat before she is. Listen, every, the niggas is more likely to fuck up for the woman here. The woman is more likely to forgive you for cheating than you are for her. She cheat one time, it's out of her. She can catch you 50 times and still love you, and you can come play like you ain't. Right. Come on, homie. So the man is fucked up. It ain't the woman. Newberry said he's staying, though. He don't care if a girl cheat. So, I man, because at the end of the day, you got to understand what you want, homie. Uh, if my woman like, cheat on me, my, I ain't leaving her home. Like because we done thing. built something together. Yeah, because my thing is what you want. It's not about what everybody else wants. <laughs> homie, want. listen, it's you easy. You one got to wake up every day with your stomach and your feelings knowing how you feel, homie. You Nobody don't know that. I done been around a lot of niggas to play the tough guy, the gangster role, whatever it is. But when it come down to you having a certain kind of feeling towards a woman, nigga, I won't give a damn. Nigga, you gonna have that feeling, homie. Nigga, a motherfucker play a game mentally. Oh, I'm finna go fuck with her. I'm gonna go fuck with her. But nigga, why you fucking these hoes? Guess who you thinking about? 
That one motherfucker, my nigga. You lying to me? I don't think about her till I'm That's riding home. I yeah, I don't, <laughs> shit, I don't be thinking about her till I'm riding home, what I'm going to tell her. Uh, yeah, nah, I'll be, shit, she had father for my mind. I ain't going to be able to do it if I'm thinking about her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think about her till I'm pulling in the driveway. She, <laughs> I'm hey, just being honest. Hey, Newberry, we did a hell of an interview, bro. Um, uh, last week. Yeah, we did, bro. And you, we talked about a lot. Um, your 18 years in prison. You actually said Charleston was a a, a shot caller. Yeah. So you, that's a you stamped them for real, like well. You really co-sign everything Charleston says in, in our interviews. Uh, it's just that people don't want to understand the reality of this shit. You got a lot of niggas that know. Like I tell people all the time. Tell and shout out to the homie Five for Jeter. He, he went on yeah, that platform. Exactly. Yeah, Five for Jeter. But you got to realize, like, Texas is not that fucking big, homie. Texas is not that big. So it's like doing time in TYC, doing time like that. You going you probably can run into somebody that done time within them 92 all the way up to like 95 from 91. You can run into people like that. And they can really tell you stories about individuals. Right. We call it wall talk. So niggas know that if you did time in TYC in Guinness, where nobody, everybody in Guinness was down there for murder, capital murder, attempted murder. That was it. It was a it's, it's a high profile campus, all right. So niggas know Charleston White. This nigga was he was he was one of them niggas. He was about that action. You know what I'm saying? And he was always willing to put that work in. But at the same time, that nigga was smart, homie. Mm. But he was he always like this. That nigga was very intelligent. I swear he was. The nigga was very intelligent because he read books every day. Yeah, I, I passed my GED like when I was 15. I, I made like one of the high school. I tore it up. Uh, I, pulled, I scored high on the SAT. Uh, I probably been taking college courses. Homie, I really should have been a lawyer. Uh, but because of the culture, homie. So that's why I attacked the culture so much. Uh, uh, nigga, the culture fucked us up. Uh, it fucked me up, homie. Uh, the culture says... Uh, it's not cool to be smart. Ah, man, ah, you know, so the culture did that, homie. So uh, I wanted to fit in with the culture. Uh, but nigga, uh, I was acting. Mm -hmm. uh, I done seen all the movies. Uh, yeah, homie, uh, I was acting. Uh, and, I, and I'm a brave heart. And a little nigga, you know, nigga was a brave heart, homie. Uh, and that shit was fun. Uh, be, be, because it 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 is it was our fun for for that era, mm -hmm. uh, but what I realized is, homie, uh, we were some young soldiers with with, with no guidance and, and, and no direction, uh, and, and we picked up something uh, that only had a, a, a it was only a one way trip to the prison or the graveyard, uh, and, and and I was able to jump off before prison, but I was pushed off. I, I was pushed off uh, because people saw potential in me. Uh, people was able to see past the, 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 the bullshit, hardened facade, uh, the, the gangster image that I was trying to portray uh, because they saw me reading books. Mm. Just seen a nigga reading Danielle Steele Love novels. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm saying? You still read today or not? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, I still read today. How do you find time in your own fucking IG? Uh, uh, I fly. When I'm flying, plane. yeah. So I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, in the See, hotel. I, I, I turn my Wi-Fi on my phone when I fly. Oh, uh, I do sometimes. Uh, but nigga, I'm gonna at least read a chapter or two. A day or just a day, yeah, or something. The newspaper. I'm gonna read. A, I'm gonna read a chapter or two or something, homie. You gotta read every day, homie. A mm. uh, 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 reading is critical to to making good choices and decisions. 